What up everybody, how's it going? Aaron Chen here, hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, then you're probably doing some research online somewhere about you know having success, building a successful business. You know, what are some of those steps, what are some of the strategies that you can use, or you can implement right now today in order to get a better result inside of your business, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about something uh, interesting. I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about habits, right? Because I find that uh, over the last nine years of being online, um, building businesses, eight of which were really, really, you know, tough, very, very challenging, um, made a lot of mistakes, couldn't really build a profitable business. It took me a long, long time. But some of those things that really helped me to break through, I'm going to talk about in this video today, and it has absolutely nothing to do with strategy. Okay, because the strategy part of building a business or being successful in, in anything really is only 30%. 20 to 30 percent of, of what you know it really requires you to do to be successful okay the rest 70 you know 70 but 70 80 percent has a lot to do with your habits and your mindset okay so I'm gonna give you some ideas in today's video you can literally go off and do them today tonight this morning whatever you want but these are some of the biggest habits that I've created over the last nine years that I truly believe have helped me to break through in my business and you can use them as well okay you might you might want to write this down if you don't have a piece of uh, a pen and a piece of paper okay the first one is about being grateful okay being grateful for the things that you already have in your life right so what you could do is you could get a notepad all right um, and every single day I want you to write down three to five things okay that you're grateful for that day now it could be anything it could be something really really simple like I'm grateful for waking up this morning right because most people don't even get to wake up you know they go to sleep and they never wake up again I know that sounds morbid but it's true right so grateful for for you know being able to wake up today I'm grateful for um, you know the, this bright shiny day right Right? I'm grateful that I'm gonna be able to work on my business today. I'm grateful for the great family that I have. I'm grateful for my dog, you know, Mars, who keeps me happy every single day. That, you know, that kind of stuff. Small little simple things. And, and the reason why it's important for you to write it down is because you can literally, you know, you can look at it and really feel it and and this is really all about putting you in the right frame of mind because the problem with building a business is that sometimes it can be a very lonely place place okay and all people focus on is all the negative stuff right so instead of focusing on the positive and you know looking at your life and saying hey look you know it's not great obviously there are certain things that you know you want to do in your life but there are a lot of things that you can be grateful for right now right for example you could be grateful for the fact that you're born in an English speaking country and you have the opportunity to have access to the internet right and you can actually do something about changing your life right because you have access to this kind of information you have access to you know millions and millions of you know people all over the world that can potentially help you to change your life for the better right a lot of people that are born in say Africa for example don't even have access to simple bare necessities like water and food or clothes to put on their back I mean come on you know so I mean I think there's a lot to be grateful for and gratitude is really the number one thing that keeps you focused it keeps you grounded okay and no matter how bad you think your your situation is right now gratitude is always the number one thing that brings you back home okay so make sure every morning every day every evening whatever it is get up uh, a notepad specifically for this okay and write down three to five things every single day about what you're grateful for that particular day Okay, this will keep you going for the long term. Because remember, building a business online is the long game. This is a marathon, not a sprint, guys, right? It's a marathon, not a sprint. So, um, you know, you gotta put on your jogging shoes, your long distance running shoes, not your sprinting shoes, okay? And being grateful, having gratitude will get you there. It'll keep you grounded. Second thing um, that I would do, a, gr a great habit to have, really, is to read books, okay? Read books read books about don't just read any book don't read fictional books I mean yeah you can spend you know, a little bit of time reading fictional books but I would read business books okay focus on business books um, I can give you a couple of really really good ones you can check out uh, the four-hour work week by by Timothy Ferris 
probably the number one business book for me because after reading it, even though it's a little bit old now, I think I think it's 10 plus years old now, it is quality, man. Just, just the whole idea about you leveraging technology to build uh, an amazing life and take something that he calls mini retirements where you know you 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 don't wait until you're 65 to retire right what you do is you take mini retirements a couple of times during the year and what you do is is you go away to say Italy or you know Spain or Australia or whatever you want and live there for like three months three to six months really immerse yourself in that culture I mean how cool would that be right and and what you're doing is the whole way you're leveraging technology Okay, because obviously, you know, by that point, you would have been pretty successful. You're, you're generating income on the side, right? And um, your business basically allows you that kind of lifestyle. Okay, so pick that book up if you've never read it before. The Four Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. Another great one. It's an oldie but a goodie. Is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. If you've heard of that book but you've never read it before, I would go to the bookstore today and buy it, okay? Just the whole idea about managing your money, managing your finances, um, it's powerful stuff. It's really basic, okay? But the way it's written is really good, okay? Um, and it talks about how um, you know you should definitely get into sales at some point in your life. It's about understanding um, assets and liabilities and how you know buying a property, this is interesting, right? Buying a property is not an asset. It's actually a liability. Okay, why is it a liability? Because cash is going out every single month because you're paying for the mortgage, right? And you owe the bank a lot of money. So a lot of people think that property is an asset. Actually, it's not. It's a liability, all right? And there are a lot better ways to, to grow your, your, your money. But anyway, pick it up, okay? And so it's, it's only, you know, books like this that really allow you to, to internalize some of this information, right? And, and the cool thing about um, this particular habit, about reading on a regular basis, is that you don't necessarily have to pay a lot of money to get mentorship, right? Because I don't pay Timothy Ferris any money for him to mentor me. I don't pay Robert Kiyosaki any money to mentor me. I didn't pay Elon Musk to mentor me, but by buying their books, you know, their specific business books, I got a lot of value from those books, okay? Now, it might not necessarily be strategies that you can implement in your business, but they're definitely ideas and experiences and you know information that you can use in your in your life to help push you forward in your business if 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 that makes sense okay another great thing about books is you can take that content and you can use it in your own content which is magical okay and, and that so so first uh, habit is being grateful writing it down every single day the second thing is to read every single day okay read at least half an hour of a great book, a great business book every single day. The third thing is I would say consume some sort of um, uh, business content that will actually help move you forward in your business, okay? So reading a book is more general, okay? That's general strategies, but actually consuming real content that is gonna push you forward in your business. So for example, if you're trying to build an internet marketing business, right? Um, what you should be doing is you should be investing in courses that will teach you skill sets that will help you to improve your skills to move you forward in your business. So for example, if you know that it's important for you to send good emails, make sure you're consuming some sort of e uh, email course that teaches you how to write good emails, right? How to become a you know good copywriter. Or maybe if you know that you, you should be doing videos, right in your business maybe you should be you know whatever on my channel or you know you should be uh, investing in some sort of YouTube course that teaches you how to do video and exactly all the technical stuff the on-page SEO the off-page SEO all that stuff that goes into you know doing that action right make sure you're doing that that's a really really good habit to have okay so don't just cons consume random information consume real targeted information that will actually teach you the skills that you need to move forward in your business, okay? The, that's, so that's the third habit that you need to have. The fourth habit is to actually make sure that you spend time doing taking action on your business every single day, okay? And this is a huge one. You know, I could talk about this for hours, but here's the deal, right, with, with being successful in business. And I can tell you this for a fact because I've, you know, I've been put through the ringer the last nine years, probably the first eight years, not, not, not so much the last year and a half, but the first eight years that I was building, and you, you, you know, a lot of you that follow me, you know this story, right? I've literally been put through the ringer, okay? So I know what I'm talking about when, I, when I'm saying that you need to have a relentless attitude and you must take action in your business, right? There's no point investing, 
you know, $200, $500, $1,000 on the best internet marketing course if you're just gonna let it sit on your bookshelf or if it's gonna collect dust on your virtual you know, bookshelf, which is your, your hard drive, right? If it sits there and you're not consuming that information but you're not acting on it, then nothing is actually gonna change in your life. I hope that makes sense, okay? And so, I understand that, you know, you get busy, life gets tough, you know, you gotta look after the kids, you gotta work that second job, you gotta look after your sick mom, or whatever it is, right? Um, everyone's got the same issues. Maybe you work a full-time job, just like 99% of people out there, right? But where there's a will, there's a way, okay? So if you think that you don't have enough, enough time, money, or energy, that's just not true. Okay, because no matter who you are, no matter what circumstance you come from, you can always find more money, more time, and more energy to do what you need to do to push you forward. But the thing is, is that if you don't take action on the stuff that you're learning, nothing's ever gonna change, okay? So if you don't make that YouTube video today, if you make an exception and you told yourself, okay, Today, I'm gonna to make a YouTube video and I'm gonna upload it onto my YouTube channel. Maybe that's the first YouTube video that, you, that you're, you're ever gonna make, right? That you've ever made, right? And then you get to today and then you make some excuse and say, oh, I'm a little bit too busy, I'm a little bit tired, I gotta pick up the kids from that football match, I don't have time to do my video. Then all you're doing is you're making an excuse, right? And if you keep making exceptions and you make excuses every single day, then what happens is you're not taking action on your business and you're never, never, ever gonna move forward because who cares if you own that traffic course, right? Or who cares if you own that, you know, YouTube course that's gonna teach you how to make, you know, five to six or seven figures a month if you don't take action on the stuff that you're being taught. Does that make sense, right? Um, and I know this is basic stuff, but you must pencil in some time every single day, every day, every day, every day, no matter what, okay? Um, to take action on your business. Now that is that is probably one of the most important habits ever, right? Is, is to take action on your business. I can't emphasize that enough, right? Probably out of this, these, um, you know, four or five habits that I'm gonna give you, this one, taking action, is probably, it trumps every other habit, okay? So that's habit number four. And I still do that up until today. Even if it's just a little bit, even if I'm having a really, really busy day, I'll think about it and I'll be like, okay, what can I do today um, where it's not gonna take that much time because I only have 15 minutes or half an hour, what can I actually do that, that will actually get me some something important, right? And for me, usually, um, if I really don't have time, it's sending an email to my list, okay? Because when, when you know, by the time you, you're building a business and you know what you're doing, you should have a decent sized email list, right? And if you only have 15 minutes, carving out a decent email and sending it to the list is probably, I would consider that a, I would consider that a money-making activity, okay? Because if you cultivate your list correctly, right, and you know what you're doing and your list loves you because you're sharing good content with them, doing, writing a good email and adding value to your list, someone on your list's life, right, adding value to their lives is a money-making activity because when you know what you're doing, you're actually able to generate income and sales by just sending one email out. Okay, so that is definitely, um, you know, if you don't do anything else, send a good email to your list and connect with them, okay? So that's number four, right? Habit number four, take action on your business every single day, okay? Action number five, right? Actually, there's, there's, there's a lot of good habits that, 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 that you can cultivate and do every single day. I know it seems like a lot, but actually some of these, you know, like writing, you know, what you're grateful for, that only takes you like five minutes or three minutes, you know? If you got really good at it, you can write it in one minute really, really fast, right? So the fifth thing, um, is consuming some sort of inspirational content, okay? And again, this doesn't need to take that long, right? And and um, I talk about something called condensing time frames in my podcast, right? Um, I think I'll, I'll leave a link to my podcast below. If you guys, um, did you guys even know I have a podcast? <laughs> Maybe some of you don't know I have a podcast. Okay, I'm gonna add that into descri the description um, in, 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 in this YouTube uh, video, right? Um, I've got a podcast. I've got probably about 34 episodes right now. Um, literally, I've distilled everything that I've learned, all the mistakes that I've learned, and I've distilled it in this podcast. And the cool thing is, is that um, every single episode, I just give you one idea, one really, really simple idea that will get you results in your business and can potentially make you hundreds, if not thousands um, of dollars, okay? So check out the podcast if you want by clicking on the link below. Um, so what was I talking about? The fifth one, okay, consume really motivational, positive content, okay? Because your mind is really probably the reason why you're going to succeed or fail, 
honestly. It has really nothing to do with the strategy. A lot of it has to do with mindset, you know, the information that you're feeding yourself, the people that you're surrounding yourself with. If you're surrounding yourself with negative people, then you're gonna be a negative person, right? If you surround yourself with positive people and you've got positive energy, you're gonna be a positive person, right? That makes sense, yeah? If you surround yourself with, you know, million dollar earners, you're gonna become a million dollar earner. If you surround yourself with broke people, you know, even though some of them might be your best friends, just be careful, right? Um, maybe, you know, don't, don't cut them out of your life completely, but definitely be mindful of who you're around all the time. If you're around, you know, broke people all the time, you're probably gonna be broke, right? If you are hang out with million dollar earners, you're, you're gonna be a millionaire, right? So be very, very careful with the people that you hang out with, the information that you, 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 know, you know, that you're around, um, and the information that you feed yourself, right? If you're eating crap all the time, if you're eating junk food all the time, what's gonna happen to your body? Well, first of all, you're gonna get really unhealthy inside, right? you're probably gonna get constipated, which is not a great thing, okay? And you're probably gonna put on a lot of weight and you're gonna feel sluggish, you're gonna get, you know, overweight, you're gonna, and, and you're just not gonna be able to uh, perform at your peak level. And when, it, when we're talking about business, you know, it's important for you to have energy all the time. I mean, look at me, you know, this is, this is, you know, I, I, I am this way, well, one, it's, it's, it's kind of the way I am, but also, it's because I do certain things in my life, um, that allow me to maintain this kind of level of energy, okay? And if I was overweight, if I didn't go to the gym, if I didn't eat well, I wouldn't be able to do this, honestly, okay? So, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked, but the fifth habit, all right, before I wrap this video up, um, is to consume a positive piece of content, a real motivational piece of content every single day. Now, that piece of content doesn't have to be long, okay? You don't have to sit there for an hour listening to someone talk. It just needs to be a couple of minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, that's it, okay? Now, where do you get this content? There's a lot of different places. You can go to YouTube, you can go to Instagram, okay? I love Instagram, there's, there's a lot of quotes and videos that are highly motivational. Just check out the channels, right? Do your research. Um, and and the, the place that I love doing it is through podcasts, all right? So I listen to a couple of, I, I really only listen to two or three people specifically. I listen to Russell Brunson, because he's awesome. Marketing strategy-wise, one of the best in the world, okay? The second one is um, Gary Vaynerchuk. If you guys haven't heard of Gary V, you gotta do some research on this guy, right? So motivational, okay? He, you know, he punches you in the face a little bit with, with some of his content. Um, and some people like him and some people don't, but I think he's really real and his content gets me pumped, okay? So I don't even waste time, right? I don't sit in front of my computer watching his content. I literally download his podcasts. I listen to it when I'm in the gym and literally they're really punchy. They're three minutes, eight minutes, 15 minutes, you know? You can listen to like, you know, I don't know, a whole bunch of his podcasts, uh, a whole bunch of episodes, um, you know, just by doing a, a one hour. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that, guys nearly crash into someone. This is why you don't do video when you're driving, especially when you live in the city, right? But anyway, this is, again, I do it because um, it's important for me to condense time frames, right? I like to do things while I'm doing something else because that's just the best way to do it, right? Um, and, okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that, taking you guys through a journey. Um, sorry, anyway, um, so just to finish up here, yeah, so, so, um, listen to podcasts because I think they're the best way to get a boost of motivation, okay? So, Gary Vaynerchuk, Russell Brunson, um, Tony Robbins, and if you want to check out my podcast, then you can click on the link below and just subscribe to it. You can get it on anything, Google Play, iTunes. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it's, I don't think it's up on Spotify just yet, right? But definitely Google Play and, and iTunes, okay? And that's it. So, the whole idea, right, is to make sure that you cultivate good habits every single day. Now, if you can do them every day, all right, you will definitely move forward in your business. I promise you. If you rewatch this video and go through what I spoke about, I dropped a lot of gems in this video, okay? A lot of stuff that I do that I've just kind of learned over the years and a lot of this stuff is not sexy. You know, this is not like, hey, this is how you build your website, you know, use this SEO strategy. It's, it's, it's nothing like that. This is really normal, simple stuff. But believe me when I say it, it's the normal, simple stuff doing it every single day repetitively, right? That really gets you results, okay? It's about consistency. 
It's about being positive. It's about being grateful. It's about having the right mindset. All right. It's about taking action. It's about being healthy. And that's the way that you're really going to move forward in your business. All right. So let me know what you thought of this video. Did you get some value today? If you did, I'd love to hear about it. Please leave me some comments. If you got some value, would really appreciate if you give me some thumbs up that will let me know if you're enjoying this content or not. If you just found me randomly, um, and you want to subscribe to my channel, you're not subscribed, please you know, feel free to click the red button right below this video. You can subscribe. I'm always releasing videos about business, motivation, how to leverage the internet to, to build a home-based business. That's really the space that I'm in, okay? And listen, if you want to work with me, okay? Um, if you're enjoying this content, you want to go deep, you want to learn this stuff, you want to work with me, then you can click on the link right below this video. It'll give you access to my free course, first of all. It's a four-day video course. You will love it. Okay, um, literally, I should be charging for this course because um, it is it is pretty powerful. I, I must say, it's really really powerful. You'll get tremendous value from it. So you can just access it by clicking the link below. And listen, have an awesome day. Take care wherever you are in the world. Make sure you take action in your business, and I'll speak to you very very soon. Take care.